In this video we're going to convert between inches, feet, yards and miles. We'll complete this worksheet. It has two pages. So as, as far as go to here. Um, you can read the pers purpose, task and criteria. It's an important life skill. It's an important skill that will be used in other courses. We're going to practice multiplying by um, the unit conversions. So instead of um, and that's just a useful skill for other classes uh, and for, for later later uh, problems we'll do. So in any case, please print off this worksheet. If you have a printer, that'd be great. And just fill it out with the video as I go along. Um, if you don't have a printer, that's fine. Just write out the questions and, and on a piece of paper and complete it. So for example, if you don't have a printer, you're just going to go A, uh, 5 feet, uh, 2 inches, and then you're just going to do that problem with me in the video. So let's start. So convert 5 feet to inches. Um, you might be able to do that off the top of your head. That's good, but I just want you to practice the unit conversion method. So we're going to write 5 feet as 5 F T over 1, okay? And what fact do we need? If you look up here, 1 foot equals 12 inches, okay? We can either multiply it by this uh, conversion factor or this conversion factor. So we're going to use a conversion factor that has what on the bottom? So we want it, the feet to cross cancel because we want to turn it into inches, okay? So we're going to multiply it by something with feet on the bottom, right? So the 1 foot equals 12 inches, so we can use 12 inches over 1 foot as a conversion factor, right? So 12IN 1FT and multiply that, right? And, and with unit analysis, the, your feet cross cancel like that. See that? And you're left with just the inches. So that's this is this is converting by unit analysis, right? So five times twelve, and please don't use the calculator. Let's practice some arithmetic here. So twelve times five. Five twos is ten. Carry the one. One five is five, and one is six. So we get sixty, and we have I N. All right, sixty inches. Yeah, if you wanted, we could have written that as um, 60 i n over 1, but that would then be equal to 60 i n, or 60 inches anyway. So please press pause on the video and do this one. Convert 12, in, 12 feet to 2 inches. Press pause and do this one yourself. Okay, I'll do it really quickly now. It's the same way again. So 12 feet over 1, we write like that. Then we use unit analysis to convert to the next... Um, um, next unit. So there's uh, 12 inches in one foot. So and we want the feet to cross cancel, right? So we want feet down here. One foot equals 12 inches. Okay. So the feet are going to cross cancel, and we'll get 12 times 12 i n all over one, right? So 12 times 12 you'll find is 144 inches, right? So 12 feet has 144 inches, right? Now, on to B. We've got 8 yards, convert that, that to feet. Okay, so we write 8 YD yards over 1 and multiply that by what? We want to convert it to feet, so we want yards on the bottom. One yard equals how many feet, do you know? If you don't know, just look up here. One yard equals three feet. Here's your conversion factors. You can use one of these. So one yard equals three feet. Okay? And the yards cross cancel. And we get eight times three is twenty-four. And we just have feet left over. And again, this is all over one, so if we really want to, we could have written um, 24 ft over 1, but that's a singular 24 feet. Okay, so press pause on the video and do this one yourself. Convert 4.5 yards to feet. 4.5 yards to feet. I'll do it now. So we go 4.5 yd over 1, multiply that by 
something with YD on the bottom yards. Now in one yard, there's three feet, okay? So the yards cross cancel. 4.5 times three, oops, 4.5, sorry, times three, three fives, 15, carry one, three fours, 12, carry one, 13. There's one decimal point in the, in the multiplication problem, so we put a decimal point there. 13.5, right? So that's 13.5 feet. Okay. Next one. Convert 27 inches to feet. Right? 27 inches to feet. So we're going to write that as 27 I N over 1. And multiply that by what? Something with I N at the bottom, right? So, how many inches in a foot? Check up here, you might know there's 12 inches in one foot, okay? 12 inches, so 12 inches in one foot. So, if we cross cancel the inches, we get 27 over 12 feet over one or feet, right? And what does that make? Well, we can simplify this fraction. So let's think, three into 12 goes four times. Three into 27 goes nine times. So we get nine quarters of a foot. Or it says write your answers as whole numbers or mixed numbers. So nine quarters of a foot. 4 into 9 goes 2 times remainder 1, doesn't it? 4 into 9 goes 2 times remainder 1, so that's 2 and 1 quarter feet. Okay? So press pause and do this one yourself. Convert 42 inches to feet. Okay, I'll do it with you now. 42 inches to feet. 42 I N over 1 times that by what? We want to go to feet. So we want inches on the bottom because we want the inches converted. They need to cross cancel, right? So that's why we put the inches on the bottom, right? Um, to feet, well, we've got to go to feet, right? We've got to convert inches to feet. Um, there's 12 inches in one foot, right? And so we do that. The inches cross cancel. We get 42 over 12. Or well, even at this point, we can. Uh, cross we can simplify. So if I think of my uh, six factors of six, six into twelve goes twice, six into forty-two goes seven times. So I have seven over two feet. Seven over two feet. And it's useful to convert that to a mixed number because that's how you would use it in, in real life. You wouldn't say I've got seven over two feet uh, of timber here. Uh, length of timber is seven over two feet. No, you go a mixed number. You go three into seven goes, or sorry, two into seven goes, how many times? Three times remainder one. Three times remainder one, so three and a half, isn't it? So you'd say I have a piece of wood that's three and a half feet long, not seven over two feet long. So mixed numbers are useful for measuring uh, a lot of things in real life. So onto this part, onto this page. We want to convert one mile to feet, then yards, then inches. So let's start with converting one mile to feet, right? Let's convert it to feet first. Whoops. Feet, sorry. Um, so we write one mile is one mile over one. Okay. We want to multiply that by something that has feet on the top, right? Well, we want the miles to cross cancel. Miles down here. So the question is, how many feet in a mile, right? If you look at your facts, you'll find that there are 5,280 feet in one mile, right? So, um, we can use this conversion fact here. 5,280 feet, 5,280 feet over one mile, right? Now, the miles will cross cancel. And we're simply left with uh, 5 to 80 feet. Well, that was elementary, wasn't it? Well, we want to convert miles to feet and then yards, right? 
So if we want, so we've got miles is 5280 feet. So what we can do is we can go 5280 feet and then convert that to yards, right? So write that as that over 1 and times it by something that will turn it into yards, yd, right? We want the feet to cross cancel, right? We want the feet to cross cancel. It's got to turn into yards, okay? So how many yards in a foot? Well, we can use this fact here. One yard equals three feet. So we can go one yard equals three feet. See that? And now we've got 5280 over three, right? So three into three goes once. Three into five goes one time. Remainder two. Three into 22 goes seven times. Remainder one. 3 into 18 goes 6 times, and 3 into 0 goes 0 times. So we end up with 1760 yards, YD. Okay. So next, convert 2.5 miles to feet. 2.5 miles to feet. Um, so we'll write 2.5 mi over 1, convert that to feet, multiply that by something with a mile on the bottom and a feet at the top because you're going to go to feet. Now if you look at your facts, we have 1 mile equals 5280 feet. Right. And um, so with this guy, oh, so with this guy, the miles cross cancel, and we get 2.5 times 5,280 5, times 2.5. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 8 is 0, carry 4, 5 times 2 is 10, and 4 is 14, carry the 1, 5 times 5 is 25, and 1 is 26. Put down a 0, multiply by 2. 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 8 is 16, carry 1. 2 times 4 is 4, and 1 is 5, and 2 times 5 is 10. And we add those. We get this. And remember that there's one decimal place in the question, so there must be one decimal place in the answer. So we get 1, 3, 200. 13,200 feet, right? Okay, so for converting 10 miles to yards, we'll write uh, 10 miles, 10 mi over 1, and we look at our facts here, we don't have a direct conversion directly from miles to yards, but how about let's first convert to feet and then to yards, right? So to convert to feet, Okay, we can use this. One mile equals 5,280 feet, right? So miles down here, feet up here, right? Because the miles will cross cancel. Right, so we got 5,280 feet in one mile, right? So we've converted miles to feet, but we want to go to yards. So let's multiply by another one to go from feet to yards. Now what's the conversion from feet to yards? Well there are three feet in one yard, right? Okay, and so now we can cross cancel the feet. And we've got 10 times 5280 over 3 yards, right? I'm going to do this. 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 5 goes one time and 2 over, 3 into 22 goes 7 times and 1 over, 3 into 18 goes 6 times, and 3 into 0 goes 0 times, right? So all of this equals 10 times 1760, which is 17600 yards, YD, right? We can put a 
comma here to separate the thousand. So 17,600 yards. So 10 miles is 17,600 yards. Now press pause and see if you can convert five miles to inches. See if you can convert five miles to inches. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm gonna do it now. So we'll write five miles M I over one and we don't have anything that goes directly from miles to inches but we can go from miles to feet and then from feet to inches right miles to feet then feet to inches right so let's first go from miles to feet so we'll multiply that by five to eighty feet over one mile and the miles will cross cancel and then we'll go from feet to inches right and so we want the feet to cross cancel and to end up with inches right so we'll do that now how many inches in a foot it's 12 inches in one foot right so now we'll just work this out and that will give us how many inches in five miles. So I'm going to have some arithmetic practice. So I'm going to go, um, let's see, 5, 2, 80 times 12, first of all, 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 8, 16, carry 1, 2 times 4, it's 5, this is 10, put down a 0, I get 0, 8, 2, 5, and add them. Okay, then I'm going to multiply by 5, so obviously you can, hopefully you've pressed pause and tried this yourself. 3, 5 is 15, and 3 is 8, carry 1, 15, 1 is 6, carry 1, and 31. Okay, so after all that we should get 316,800 um, inches right I n so five miles five miles equals three hundred and sixteen thousand eight hundred inches